Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 31 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Look, I have called by name Baziel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and I have filled them with the Spirit of God, in wisdom and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all kinds of workmanship, to devise skillful works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and in cutting of stones for setting, and in carving of wood, to work in all kinds of workmanship. Look, I myself are appointed with him, Oho Liaba, the son of Ashimach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the heart of all who are wise hearted, I have put wisdom, that they make all that I have commanded you. The tent of meeting, the ark of the testimony, the mercy seat that is on it, all the furniture of the tent, the table and its vessels, the pure lampstand with all its vessels, the altar of incense, the altar of burns offering with all its vessels, the basin at its base, the finely worked garments, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office, the anointing oil, and the incense of sweet spices for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded you, they shall do. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Most certainly you shall keep my Sabbaths. For it is a sign between me and you, throughout your generations, that you may know that I am Yahweh, who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you. Everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death. For whoever does any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Six days shall work be done. But on the seventh day, is a Sabbath of sudden rest, holy to Yahweh. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day shall surely be put to death. Therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations, for continual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. He gave to Moses when he finished speaking with him on Mount Sinai, the two tablets of the testimony, stone tablets written with God's finger. <laughs>